We have Unity 3D with Spark Plug B enabled. This is an example. In that case, we have the host application and two edge nodes, both in one scene. So this is, of course, typically not the case. Typically, you will have either another host application or maybe Unity 3D, one application running as a host and another application or more applications running as edge nodes. But as I said, just for demonstration, I've put both built into one scene, but of course, all of them will have separate MQTT connections. So we have here another host application and two edge nodes. And we see here at the edge nodes, I have configured two metrics. So this metrics have the edge metric component. I can choose here the data type. In that case, I simply have used a string matrix. So, and yeah, I can, of course, add more metrics to it. And the name of the metric is also the game object's name, if I haven't adjusted it here. And here we have the host application. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention in that case, the edge node's primary host <coughs> is my host application here. Um, yeah, here the host application, and here I can uh, again add game objects and add an edge node consumer script on it. And that means when the host application gets up and running, it will subscribe to this edge node. So to get the values of those edge nodes. Um, updated into the system. But now let's connect the host application to MQTT. So behind the scenes is it has of course um, updated the host application state in the MQTT broker. So we see here now online true. And now let's start up an edge node. So let's say connect it. So now it is connected. And we see now here that automatically the incoming metrics of these edge nodes have been added to this edge node at the host applications level. So we have here now uh, the values, the metrics, and those were now coming from the birth message. We also have here this rebirth metric, so we can also set this to true here, and then at the host applications level, we can say publish change data and then all of the data what we have changed changed here in the edge nodes will be published to the to the to the nodes and then that goes in a uh, rebirth would be done so let's also start the second one now we also have the data of the second one here and then now we'll change here the value hello world two and yeah i can change the values here uh, of course, I do this here now in the, let's say, Unity style. So I'm using the inspector, I'm using game objects and components. But of course, um, all that can also be done via scripting in C Sharp uh, with functions. And we can also, also use here a Elias. So, but now let's update this change data. So I say, you know, publish change data. And now I can check at the edge node of the host application, the value should have been changed. Yes, so it works. Um, yeah, I can also demonstrate when I disconnect the host application. So the edge nodes get notified. So they will now not publish data anymore. So even if I say here publish change data flag, nothing will happen because its primary host application is down. And but what we don't do here for now is that if we change values here in the metrics, we don't store a history. So that would be a feature. So in theory, edge nodes <coughs> um, should store somewhere uh, the if um, metrics will change and then, then the primary host application comes up again, then also the history or the saved stored well, those all of the value changes could be transferred to the host application. But as I said, in that case, we do this not. We only change one, so the latest value. 
it now. Yeah, let's try to change here a value. So, so real world testing. And yeah, let's now see host application will come up again. And now hopefully the re uh, the birth message has been sent again of all of the edge nodes because they recognized that the primary host application uh, came back online and I have to remember what I have changed uh, the metric 2 of the edge node 1 metric 2 edge node 1 yeah and we see we have now here the latest value so that's basically currently all the implementation of spark plug b for unity um, it is based on the simple mqdt asset so mqdt for unity available on the asset store and this um, yeah this spark plug b implementation is available on github